So, Harley Davidson are going to bring out a miniature Pan America motorcycle. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Revelate Alpha. Hope you're all well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. So, Harley Davidson, uh, in collaboration with their Chinese counterpart, QJ Motor, are supposedly bringing out a baby Pan America, a baby adventure bike. Now, this, I've got to say right now, is all nonsense. It was fake news or misinterpretation of information. This came out a couple of weeks ago, and for 24 hours, there was a bit of a feeding frenzy online in the motorcycle press or the, the websites that kind of deal with this kind of stuff. And there's lots of speculation of what this bike would look like and uh, what CC it would be and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so let me just get into the rumor first of all, and then how it's kind of worked its way loose. So some European motorcycle websites were looking at the Chinese X350RA and they were looking at the possibility of that going to the United States and also because there has been speculation whether the Chinese partnership with uh, Harley-Davidson would indeed yield a, an off-road type motorcycle. Now, in a previous video, I already talked about the plans for 2024 with Harley-Davidson and their Indian collaboration with Hero Motor Corp. They are talking about bringing out a Scrambler motorcycle. So it was a kind of a natural discussion to have. Well, what about the Chinese collaboration, that partnership? Will it yield something of the same result? Then we started talking about this baby Pan America, an X350RA. Now, the RA suffix for the American market is really for those motorcycles, those X350s, which are not on general sale, they just went into the riding academies, hence the RA suffix. And they were slightly detuned, they had different tires on them, and obviously they had all the guards on them as well. But essentially, it's the same bike as that that is being sold in China, the X350. And also in China, the X500. There was speculation that the X500 may come to the United States for general sale, but then that was dismissed quite soon afterwards. What these websites and Motorcycle Press did, they took the RA suffix and they also saw that there was the RA prefix of the Pan America, the RA1250 Pan America or the RA1250S, the Pan America Special. So they put two and two together and got 11. Now this speculation or story was then repeated all around the world. And various motorcycle press uh, from as far away as Australia and the United States and South America and all across Europe as well were repeating this story. Oh, Harley-Davidson and QJ Motor and Chinese Harley-Davidson are going to bring out a small ADV bike, a small adventure bike. And there were pictures of it and mock-ups of it. And people were starting to speculate well, what kind of CC it would have, uh, what uh, power it would deliver, and all that kind of stuff. But it transpires, this is purely a misunderstanding. And it came from within Harley-Davidson, no, this is not happening, this is not a thing. They're not going to build a baby Pan America with this X350 RA. The RA is purely for the riding academies, the X350 is purely for the Asian market, or specifically, right now, for the Chinese market. But... The story has a little bit of legs. Let me get into this. So now it transpires that indeed the relationship between Harley-Davidson and QJ Motor from China may indeed be trying to yield a small Pan America, a small adventure bike. Not necessarily a Pan America, but just a smaller adventure bike. So why is this the case? Well, QJ Motor also are in charge of Benelli. Benelli make very similar motorcycles. In fact, the X500 that uh, Harley-Davidson make with QJ Motor is actually very similar to the Benelli Leoncino. They're very similar. They're almost identical apart from some aesthetic accents. They're very similar. Benelli also make the TRK502X, which is a, a mid-size or small adventure bike as well. So now they're looking at the Benelli motorcycles and those are already produced by QJ Motor for the Chinese market, which actually resemble the Benelli motorcycles. And now they're looking at, well, whether the 500cc 
motorcycle could turn into a baby Pan America or a baby ADV, a smaller ADV. So if indeed there is going to be a smaller adventure motorcycle from Harley Davidson in conjunction or in collaboration with QJ Motor, that it's only going to be for the Asian market. The rumor mill now is that it's going to be a 500cc and it's going to be based on that Benelli TRK502X. It kind of makes sense. If you're going to go into that world, if you're going to go into that ADV world, and especially for that Asian market, where the 400cc, 500cc is really gathering pace and it's really gathering market share, then it would kind of make sense that you make a 500cc, you base it on something that is already being produced and is selling quite well around the world, and it's pretty good for the European markets as well you slap a Harley Davidson badge on it, then all of a sudden, you've got a small adventure bike. Now, would this be a favorite of Harley Davidson fans all around the world? I doubt that very much. And I'm not saying this is even a thing, but what I'm saying is there is logic here. The X350 was never really gonna be an adventure bike or turned into an off-road rideable bike. However, the X500, could definitely be that. And with a few tweaks here, with a different chassis that is already in existence, that QJ Motor produced for Benelli, then all of a sudden you've got a Harley Davidson 500cc mini adventure bike. You've got your baby Pan America. It may look different, different aesthetics, certainly different power, but now you've got it. And it could go into the Asian market, it could go into Australia, and yes, potentially it could even come to Europe. Whether it ever goes to the United States and Canada, I doubt that very much, in all, in all fairness. So the initial story was bogus, absolutely. And it was kind of dismissed quite readily. However, there is logic here. The idea holds some water. That Harley-Davidson, in conjunction with QJ Motor, could indeed produce a smaller ADV bike. It's probably going to be a 500cc. They've already got the blueprint there from the TRK502X. Yeah. So if they're already going to produce an off-road scrambler or an off-road capable scrambler with the Indian partnership, why not do something similar with the Chinese market? It kind of makes sense. Now, again, will this happen? Who knows? 2024 is just around the corner. It could be something that we're hearing about next year or at the midpoint of next year. We are expecting another motorcycle model from Harley-Davidson and QJ Motor. They were talking initially about five or six motorcycles that they were going to drip feed over a couple of year period. Just as Harley-Davidson Hero Motor Corp for the Indian market, they were initially talking about 10 motorcycle deal. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that we are expecting a couple more motorcycles and one of them will be an off-road capable bike. These 400, 500 cc motorcycles are really popular in that part of the world and especially for off-road riding. So it kind of makes sense. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think that this is a thing? Do you think a 500 cc baby Pan America is gonna be to your liking? Would you wanna see it on the streets of Europe or the United States or anywhere else in the world? Or do you think, no, that's enough? That's enough. We don't want to hear about these smaller adventure bikes. We just want the big Pan America, the big ADV, and that's it. Now, let's not even talk about the 975 Pan America that was supposed to be coming out that is probably never, ever going to come out now. But who knows? Who knows? Until we hear from the horse's mouth, everything is just speculation. But I thought it was a really interesting story that the, the initial story that ramped up really quickly was soon dismissed, but then it left a bit of a void and then all of a sudden, more speculation has come in. That's credible speculation about a 500cc, there or thereabouts, adventure bike from Harley-Davidson and QJ Motor. Let us know your thoughts on this. I'll be very interested to see if this ever comes off. And if it does, I'd like to have a go on it myself. Why not? Let us know your thoughts. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And I'll catch you again. Bye now.